Uh, Steve, you know, what was a topic that was noticeably absent tonight um, in your talk was television. And uh, you talked about how to make the iPad and the iPhone, you need to throw out the human interface um, in order to really make those products interactive. Um, do you think it's time to throw out the interface for television, the classic up, down, left, right, and um, bring in a new human interface to make television truly interactive? And, and if so, uh, when is uh, Apple going to do something in that, in that arena? The problem with the television market, the, the problem with innovation in the television industry is the go-to-market strategy. The television industry fundamentally has a subsidized business model that gives everybody a set-top box for free or for $10 a month. And that pretty much squashes any opportunity for innovation because nobody's willing to buy a set-top box. Ask TiVo. Ask Replay TV. Uh, you know, ask Roku. Ask Vudu. Ask us. Ask Google in a few months. Um, so, all you can do, Sony's tried as well. I mean, Panasonic's tried, a lot of people have tried. They've all failed. So, all you can do is add a box onto the TV system. You can say, well, gosh, I noticed my HD TV has a bunch of HDMI ports on it. One of them is coming from the set top box, so I'll just add another little box with another one. Well, you just end up with a table full of remotes, cluster full of boxes bunch of different UIs, and that's the situation we have today. The only way that's ever going to change is if you can really go back to square one and tear up the set-top box and redesign it from scratch with a consistent UI across all these different functions and get it to the consumer in a way that they're willing to pay for it. And uh, right now, there's no way to do that. So n that's the problem with the TV market. You know, we decided what product do we want the most, a better TV or a better phone? Well, the phone won out, but there was no chance to do a better TV because there was no way to get it to market. What do we want more, a tablet or a better TV? Well, probably a tablet, but it doesn't matter because if we wanted a better TV, there's no way to get it to market the TV's going to lose until there's a better, until there is a viable go-to-market strategy. Otherwise, you're just making another TiVo. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, absolutely. That's the fundamental problem. It's not a problem of technology. It's not a problem of vision. It's a, go, it's a fundamental go-to-market problem. In the, in the phone area, you were able to recreate that uh, go-to-market strategy by working with the carrier. So does it make sense to partner with uh, a cable operator? To well, that, then you run into another problem, which is there isn't a cable operator that's national. There's a bunch of cable operators. And then it's not like there's a GSM standard where you build a phone for the U.S. and it also works in all these other countries. No, every single country has different standards, different government approvals. It's a it's very, um, it's very, uh, uh, what's the right Daunting. word? Daunting. Tower of Babel-ish. <laughs> you know? Or that's not the right word. Balkanized. It's very balkanized. So um, I'm sure smarter people than us will figure this out. Uh, but that's why when we say Apple TV is a hobby, that's why we use that phrase. <laughs>